And so there are laws and principles that our, wor our world space operates on that are working and operating all the time. And that energy of not being um, generous or lacking generosity will often hold back many of the things that are destined to come. Yo-yo budgeting is, is something that happens when we're in that space of scarcity. So um, we'll set these restrictive goals. I'm talking about that they're so restrictive that they don't allow you to invest. They don't allow you to see the uh, return on, you know, spending the money. So we'll set this really restrictive budget. I budget, guys. I don't like to call it budget. I, I call it my freedom list. But I look at budgeting as a way to tell my money what to do. And when, when you're in that scarcity thinking, you'll create this audacious restriction on your life and on your business that is so unobtainable, like I just ain't spending nothing. And crash and burn, because then you go back and you just go on this spree, <laughs> right? Because you've restricted yourself from some of the very things that gives you the energy and the insight and the know-how and all the things that will actually propel your, your business forward. So there's often a lot of yo-yo budgeting, like, okay, I'm going to budget and I just ain't going to spend nothing. My budget will be up here. It's going to be so strict. And, and then, you know, boom, you just go and spend it all. And so harmony, finding harmony. I talk about work-life harmony all the time. I uh, am careful about using the word balance because I don't think that things are really balanced. I believe in polarity and I believe in harmony. And so finding a harmony, you know, even in the way that you're budgeting is, is really important. And a lot of it is the freedom in your mind, really aligning from an abundant space. Um, oftentimes when your mindset is in scarcity or lack, you aren't generous. And so there are laws and principles that our, wor our world space operates on that are working and operating all the time. And that energy of not being um, generous or lacking generosity will often hold back many of the things that are destined to come, are destined to come. It's already set up. God has already created uh, these universal laws and things in the universe that he created to work on, on your behalf. And that scarcity thinking, that fixed mindset and not being generous often holds back because, you know, we can go into the whole reaping and sowing thing it often holds back the abundance that's actually supposed to come in the life of someone who may not be seeing it uh, because they're thinking from a space of scarcity and, and a space of lack.